Hello, my name is Peter Berkeley and I'm here at Barnsley College to give an insight into percussion instruments for both live and studio work. We're now going to look at frame drums or drums with the one head over some sort of body. Now, this is a Middle Eastern drum, a tar or a duff. Um, there's also a North American buffalo drum which has the, the string in the back for, so you could hold and put your fingers against the head. There is the dumbek or dabuka, which again is Middle Eastern. And then with a different body again, the congas. And finally, we're going to finish with the tambourine. We start with the frame drum though very basic technique of hitting the outside of the rim of the drum with the head to give an open sound, go towards the middle to give a closed or slap sound, like that, and then small closed sounds or rim sounds with the other hand as well. A basic rhythmic pattern would be But you can get far more interesting patterns and, and rhythmic variations. There was one in seven. So that is a hand drum, frame drum. The dumbek, which is the hourglass shaped drum, very similar in, in the playing position, apart from it is somewhere comfortable, like there. Similar technique of slaps and opens and closed. But then move across now to the conga. The conga, again, has a muted stroke or a closed stroke. It has an open stroke and it has a slap stroke which is a combination of having the, the hand on the head to, to, to dampen the drum and then make a cup and come across like that. A typical Cuban conga pattern would be something like this. A typical Brazilian um, conga pattern would be and then in pop music one of the most common sounding conga patterns is this variations on, well, many variations on that. Here's one. If you, as you notice, most of the work is done on the smallest of the drums because that gives the most sound out and the slap is more effective on that drum as well. I'm going to move now on to the tambourine which is a very small frame drum and you still get the open sound you also can get the closed sound by putting the finger on the drum head inside the tambourine like that so it pops more and then you get combinations, especially in Brazilian music again, of the two types of open and close. <laughs> Dealing with
with these drums. Last thing I'm going to do is show you the slide on the conga. Need a quite a, a slack tension on a bigger drum to be able to achieve this. And it's very similar to a thumb roll on the tambourine in that you're trying to get the, you get the finger to vibrate on the drum head and thus creates that quite eerie slime. 